Well, oh, the animals that we are encountering tonight are very sensitive to bright lights. If we really care about these animals, which might go blinded with all these flashes, please turn off the flash functions of your cameras now. Thank you so much. Way up to 500 kilograms. Living alongside the... Take a look at the rhino skin. It may seem armor-plated. It may seem rough and tough and can go as thick as five centimeters, but despite being thick-skinned, it is actually very sensitive to mosquito bites. And unlike human beings, the rhino has apparently any sweat, so the only possible way for the rhino Sharing this habitat with the cranes are the swamp deer, also known as the Parasingha. These deer gets its name from the 12 branches of an adult male's antlers. Now should any of you decide to explore our walking trails and get lost along the way? Well, here is one friendly trail marshal to our right side who is very adept in the runarounds of the walking trails. Please say hi. The ducks of the dog. Well, ladies and gentlemen, these are the striped hyenas, the only kind of hyena you'll ever find in Asia. Now, in searching for food, the striped hyena moves about noiselessly. It prefers to listen. Leaving the master scavengers behind, let us embrace the lord of the hunters. The lions are the only gregarious cats, while others, like tigers and leopards, are solitary creatures. Now, lions live in kingdoms called prides, and each pride consists of two to three males, usually brothers, several females, and cubs. Now, all these three you're seeing are the males because they have majestic means. Now, if you'll try to scan the entire area, you will not see here any lionesses. You see, in each lion pride, the females will do all the work. They go out, they hunt for food, while these males hold the very important and comfortable job of looking after the territory. Well, that includes a sleeping zombie on top of the den. <laughs> if you take a look to your left side, you will see some lights. Well, that signals that we are approaching tram station 2, the one and only stop along this entire tram journey. We will be making a quick stop over and you have the option to get down or stay on in the tram.